There's only one to go. One to go. Good afternoon. Family, thank you for showing up as we pay homage to our beloved Junior Jones. To get the proceedings off to a start, we'd like to invite Archdeacon Everton Weeks to do the prayer. Archdeacon? Can we get the hearse close by, please? Closer to the happenings. Can we have the hearse here, please? of the hearse from its former location so that we can get the proceedings on the way.
So as the hearse repositions itself with the mortal remains of Alaric Jr., we ask that you bring it much closer to friends and loved ones. That's good, thank you. Thank you very much. It's now over to the Ashton Everton Weeks. Good afternoon, everyone. This afternoon, we have assembled to welcome home the mortal remains of Ulrich Jr. Jones, a son, a brother, a patriotic. Vincentian, who died in New York on Friday, May 8th. We have also assembled to comfort, to support his bereaved parents, Ulrich and Marilyn. His other siblings were not here, but will eventually be in St. Vincent for the funeral. I ask you to daily pray for them. It is not easy for a parent to lose and to bury a child. Soon you'll be journeying to Kingston in procession in a motorcade. But before that, we want to welcome Junior as a child of God a member of God's family, the church, with a short ceremony. I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We listen to Psalm 121 to be read by Janice Glasgow. 
I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The Lord, the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you Keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. The word thanks. Amen. We now listen to a scripture reading to be read by Ambassador Howie Prince. A reading from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 6, reading verses 37 to 40. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. For I have, I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. This is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. Here ends the reading of the word of God. Thanks be to God. We will reaffirm our faith and Anglicans in the Apostles' Creed. Let us pray together. I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with a litany. Your response, have mercy on your servant. God the Father, response. Have mercy on your servant. God the Son. Have mercy on your servant. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on your servant. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on your servant. From all evil, from all sin, from all tribulation. Deliver your servant. By your holy incarnation by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial. Have mercy on your servant. By your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on your servant. The response, we beseech you to hear us, Lord. We sinners beseech you to hear us, Lord Christ that it may please you to deliver the soul of your servant Ulrich from the power of evil and from eternal death. We beseech you to hear us, Lord. That it may please you to mercifully pardon all Ulrich Jr. sins. We beseech you to hear us, Lord. That it may please you to give Ulrich Jr. joy and gladness in your kingdom with your saints in light. We beseech you to hear us, Lord. The next three responses, have mercy on your servant. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on your servant. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have 
mercy on your servant. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on your servant. Let us pray. God of mercy, into whose hands your son, Jesus Christ, commended his spirit at his last hour. Into those hands we now commend your servant, Ulrich Jr., that death may be for him the gate of life and eternal fellowship with you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, raise us, we humbly pray, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that when we depart this life, we may rest in him, and at the resurrection, receive that blessing which your well-beloved Son shall then pronounce. Come, you blessed of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Grant this, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our Mediator and Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Grant, O Lord, to all who are bereaved Parents, Father Ulrich and Marilyn, siblings, Sharon and Anika. Children, All other relatives and friends, the spirit of faith and courage, that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience. Not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. And this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Rest eternal grant unto Ulrich Jr., O Lord. Let light perpetual shine upon him. May he and all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Upon you, my brother and sister. now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Pardon me, I forgot social distancing. <laughs> so this is ended. Go in peace. Thank you very much, Ashley. Can we know that Junior's grumblings in the Anglican faith are very deeply rooted and this was an appropriate way to send us on the journey and the motorcade that we are hosting as we pay homage to our beloved Junior. And just before we do that though, we have organized. We have a family member who is in fact calling in from Brooklyn, New York, in the person of baby brother, Neeks Jones. Neeks, you ready for us? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I would just like to some confirmation that, that I'm being heard, that everyone's hearing me. Yes. Yes. 
you are live. Hello, good, good afternoon to everyone gathered here today. Um, firstly, before I start, uh, my name is Anika Jones. I'm the younger brother of Junior Jones, Oliver Jones Jr. Um, I would like to thank you all for gathering here today, especially in this time when we are enduring a worldwide pandemic. We are here for Brentford, Ulrich, Overton, Vincent Jones. Some of you, he's a lot of many names, as you as you just heard. Brentford, Ulrich, Overton, Vincent Jones. A man of many names, therefore a man of many hats, and a man of many nicknames. Some of you gathered there may know him, know him as Ulrich Jr. Others may know him simply as Junior. His grammar school contemporaries will know him as Eve. The world wide over know, know, knew him as Soka Jones. To us and our family, he was simply Junior. The point being, we have all lost a son, a brother, a nephew, a father, an uncle, and we have all lost a friend. Junior returns home today for the final time to rest in peace. A home that he left 33 years ago a home that he has fought tirelessly for. St. Vincent and the Grenadines has lost a true patriot. One that always had his nation's best interest at heart. Some may wonder, why all this fanfare? What has he done? The answer to that question can be seen by the outpouring of love shown by Vincentian in New York as his farewell motorcade made its way through Brooklyn's streets last Saturday. Junior was the glue that created and bonded Vincentians in New York together. He fought tirelessly for that blue, yellow, and green we all love so much. And all of it was done truly and sincerely from his heart. He was the recognized unofficial Vincentian ambassador in New York. If he didn't know how to get it done, he would know how to find out how to get it done. Many have benefited from his knowledge and willingness to always lend a helping hand. And these are the reasons why many want to and demand that they be able to show gratitude to him. The Jones family would like to express our sincere gratitude to everyone that has come out today to help us welcome Junior home. This is indeed a sad occasion as we mourn the loss of our loved one. However, we are uplifted by the outpouring of love and support being shown today. We are comforted knowing that Junior has touched so many lives in so many different ways and that you saw it fit to pay your respects today. We do, however, ask your friends to uphold us as a family unit at this time. I, along with my sister Sharon, ask your prayers for our parents. We all know that this is not the way that we, we were taught that it would go. We were taught that we would carry our parents and move on. But life throws a curveball at times and we have to take it. And us, our family, and our people, being a people of faith, not only do we have to take it, we have to handle it, and we will get past it. And it is a sincere gratitude that I thank you for sharing this grief with us as a family. It helps us to carry it better. We also... Sharon and I, along with Junior's children, Yolanda and Jamal, are not able to be there today to be with our parents and grandparents to welcome Junior home. We thank you for doing that in our stead, and we appreciate the support and love for our brother, our father, and our son. 
the love and gratitude shown has shown the impact she has had on many lives. And that is what we really live for. There's no more than one thing to for to be remembered in that way. And as we leave here today, we thank you again for gathering. Mother Kay is going to proceed to the, count, the town of Calibur and through the town of Calibur, passing Julia's birthday, the Jones ancestral home in Calibur. It will then proceed and pass by Julia's maternal ancestral home in Calibur. We will then proceed to the town and pass through where we will spend many a time, many a day, many a night, many a set, Church Square. We will then be passing along Victoria Park, where he gave many opinions of shows that they went under the kind of fever. He will list the most careful and constitute to the New Haven funeral home in Michigan and conclude there. And as coincidence will have it, June will then rest at the Haven funeral home directly across the street from where he spent half his life while living in Simmons and the So this motif has meaning. It has meaning to the person we are honoring. And again, we thank you coming up. On behalf of some, on behalf of our parents, we thank you for being there with them today to share in this occasion. Thank you all. Much love and blessings. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nix. No one could have said that better than you did, and we thank you for those words. Held quite so much meaning to all of us. We thank you. We continue to prefer you for Sharon, for your parents, and for his children, and for all who mourn. You have already outlined the route we are going to take, starting from here into Junior's hometown of Kaliakwa, past his residence, his ancestral home. Then we are going into Kingstown, into Heritage Square, where he spent many a moment and then on to Victoria Park, where he also contributed during Carnival and as far as culture in this country is concerned, and then back to the place that he grew up and spent many years in the Mesopotamia Valley. Thank you all again for coming out, and I'd like to say that as the hearse moves from here, the Two vehicles carrying the family will follow immediately after, and then from there, um, folks are welcome to joining, but the family will be directly behind the hearse. And Dad wants to say something? Very importantly, when we get to Kaliokwa, he will rest in his home for two minutes, both spots. So there we go. Whistle spots at Kaliqua is home. So we are off and ready to proceed on this important journey. Junior, we love you dearly.
can reach back home. Come, let me, let me go and do that. So, can reach back home. And where are going to put it inside in? It's back home. Social media. Right here, so my dad is Yes, my Jackson. Yeah. Right here, so. so this, no. Right here, he was born. And he's back here too. Three things we have. Calcar, we say. Watch your motor pay. Nobody else can come in. 
I want to watch the official camera. You are really different. No, no, no. Picture will take a picture for you.